One hour later. The No Fake Channel, checking in. On today's episode of Dad's Home Gym, I am going over the best budget bar. This is the Rep Fitness Saber Bar. And frankly, that thumbnail that you clicked on and the title that said best budget bar is a little bit of a lie because based on price, this isn't the best budget bar. This is the best value bar. And I'm gonna get into all the details with respect to cost, knurling, whip, why I went with the black zinc coating, and if this bar is gonna be right for your home gym. If this is your first time to the channel, do me a huge favor, two things. Number one, comment below, let me know which current barbell you're using, which one you have, do you like it, is it suiting your needs? Drop it in the comments below because I'm always curious what people are currently using for their home gym. And number two, if this is your first time to the channel, but by all means, hit that subscribe button right over here. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I simply review a piece of home gym equipment to help you decide if it's right for your home gym, if it's right for your current workout regimen, and most importantly, if it's right for that hard earned money. Today from Rep Fitness, I've got their Saber Bar um, that I have in black zinc. I'm gonna go over the analytics of it, right? All the quick details of it and then get into my experience with it using it over the past 10 weeks and frankly talk about why I went with this bar over the thousands of other bars that are out there. So first and foremost, it is a rep fitness barbell. It can hold a thousand pounds and frankly, that's probably 750 pounds more than I ever can dream of lifting with it. I don't necessarily claim to be a strong person, and frankly, I don't lift very heavy, so I don't expect to exceed that 1,000 pounds anytime soon, and I do mean anytime soon. This is a 28.5 millimeter diameter bar. Most of the bars that you'll see for like Olympic lifting, I believe are 28 millimeters, but most of the common bars in gyms come closer to 28.5 than they do to 28. I do know, I believe the powerlifting bars, which I'm not a power lifter, are 29 millimeter diameter bars. Overall, when I grabbed it, feels like a bar to me and I didn't notice any issues with regards to the diameter. In terms of the coatings, it comes with just your typical no coating whatsoever and it comes in a black zinc coating. I would be completely lying to you if I told you I went with this black zinc coating so that it would hold up better, so that it wouldn't rust quicker. I went with it because it looked cooler. There, I said it. But I will say for the price increase, I think it was only like 10 or $15 more than no coding whatsoever. It was worth it to me because I expect to have this bar for quite a while. As far as um, the whip on this thing, yeah, the whip is, I'm gonna say average, average to good. I don't necessarily know why you'd want excessive whip unless you were doing like some serious like overhead Olympic lifts and stuff like that, a lot of CrossFit. But for me, with regards to the stuff that I do, the whip on here is is smooth, it's comfortable, and it is not an issue by any stretch of the imagination. As far as the knurling on here, some of you people really, really love your knurling. This is medium knurling, and I will say it doesn't chew up your hands, but it's got enough grip that you can really get a nice, nice hold on it when you are benching, curling in your squat rack, or whatever. I will say there is no middle knurling. For me, I don't necessarily squat, and I know that's kind of controversial to say that, but I don't squat with a bar on my back. So that middle knurling, I never used anyway. But if that's something that you need, I do believe they have a, a middle knurling version in the Sabre bar. This just isn't it. Now you clicked on this video because it said best budget bar. So let's talk about cost. Keep in mind, cost is what you pay and value is what you get. We see a huge range in prices with barbells. Everything from stuff that probably wouldn't last the year all the way to stuff that you might see in the Olympics on the powerlifting platforms at the Olympics. So there's a huge range in prices and it, frankly, it can be a lot of murky, muddy water when it comes to deciding what's right for you. I paid 218 for this bar delivered. That was 184 for the bar, 34 for shipping. And I think I got an absolute steal. As of today, the prices have gone up. As we know, home gym equipment, um, you know, inventory is low, demand is high. I think demand's gonna continue to be high for probably another year plus. So they raised the bar price to 209, shipping price is still $34. Do, do some companies offer free shipping? Yes, but free shipping 
is never free. They always just kind of work that price into the actual bar itself. So um, I still think this is a great value for what you are paying. Personally, my experience has been great. It feels good. It looks good. I could have saved a few bucks by not getting the black zinc coating, but I wanted to. Not because I think the bar was going to rust, because here in my basement, the humidity level is fairly regulated with my dehumidifier, but... Um, Overall, I just got it because it looks nice. So over the past 10 weeks, this bar has delivered on everything I expected, and it is what I believe to be the best value bar out there. The knurling, that medium knurling, right where I want it to be. The grip, perfect. Feels good in the hand. I don't feel like I'm going to be slipping, but it's not overly aggressive where it chews up my hands. In terms of the whip, it's there. It's certainly there if you're doing CrossFit or multifunctional exercises, but it's not overly aggressive and it's not overly sluggish either. So I think for many of you in your home gym, at least many of you who are like me, trying to get a really good workout in, in your home gym, but you're not entering the Olympics, you're not gonna be uh, you know, Matt Frazier or Rich Froning in the CrossFit Open, this bar is going to deliver everything that you could want. So let's talk about bend. I know some of you big boys and some of you thick girls out there are doing some serious plates on these things. I will say the heaviest I got this up to was three plates um, on a shrug, and there was a little bit of give that you would expect on three plates with bumper plates because there's more rotational inertia as the bar, the weight is further out. Nothing major, nothing that's, that's going to be an issue, nothing that would bother me if I was benching with that whatsoever. Frankly, I think this is probably good for anyone that's going to go three and a half to maybe even four plates on this thing before they even notice that there's any you know significant bar bend to the point where it might impact your lifts. Um, again, the maximum capacity on this thing is a thousand pounds. And I feel like if you're watching this video, you're probably not going to be hitting anywhere close to that thousand pound marker. And I think for most people, you're not really going to be hitting three and a half or four plates on most of your lifts. Maybe your deadlift is probably the, the, the heaviest one you're going to hit on if you're doing like sumo style. But even then, most people aren't even going to be doing that. So I think this bar is going to be great value for the majority of people looking to get a solid bar in their gym that they can do everything that they expect to for their workouts, whether they want to squat, deadlift, bench, whether they want to curl on their squat rack, whether they want to do cleans, even if they want to do overhead presses. You could do overhead presses with this or overhead squats for that matter. And I don't think that this bar would be a negative in any sense of the fashion until you really reach those upper echelon uh, athletic goals. Even with Rep Fitness's increased prices, this Sabre bar is nearly $100 less than a lot of the other bars that are comparable out there. Frankly, I think so many people are buying um, barbells that are above and beyond what they could ever expect to use in terms of the capacity, in terms of the weight loading and stuff like that. I think people are just buying it for their ego. There are a lot of times I think people tend to buy a bar for the namesake behind it rather than um, doing an honest assessment of how much weight they expect to lift with it. Um, I don't expect to come anywhere close to the weight capacity on this thing. It comes with a one-year warranty. If you're looking to save some bucks, you could just skip the black finish uh, overall. I don't think it's necessary. I think it's something that I bought for aesthetics, but I don't expect this bar to rust anytime soon, especially in a home gym environment that I tend to take good care of my equipment. I don't treat them with kid gloves, but at the same time, I'm not leaving them outside against a wall either. If you're looking for a great bar at a low price, the Sabre bar from Rep Fitness is it. Based on my personal experience, I am, uh, I can't say enough good things about it. I do have a Rep Fitness affiliate code. How does that work? You click on the link in the description. It's going to bring you to Rep Fitness. You get whatever you want, and it does help me out. It does help out the channel, helps keep the lights on, and it gives me a reason to keep making these videos. But even though it's an affiliate link, I do honest reviews. If this bar stunk, I would let you know. If they raise their prices above where they're already at, where this bar goes above that $250 mark, frankly, I would say then don't bother with it because you're closer to uh, another bar that might deliver you better performance at just around that $300 mark. But clearly at, at sitting under $250 delivered, this bar is a steal even with their raised prices. If you came this far in the video and have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button. It helps me out and it is appreciated. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.